Jesse Gary, a final round 77 here at the first stage of LPGA Tour qualifying school. I guess, you know, probably um, mixed emotions. I mean, from where you've come at the start of the summer health-wise to where you are right now, great to get four rounds in, but uh, what, what, uh, what's your final takeaway from this week? You know, it's hard to know what kind of expectations to have coming in just because I had played two competitive rounds since March coming into this week. So I was really happy with my start. It was two under through 36 holes and uh, and then the last couple rounds just wasn't as sharp. You know, it was different. Hadn't been in that kind of pressure for a while. And so you just, you get a little rusty with those things. So um, wasn't too thrilled with my final two rounds, but I'll build on it and keep keep going. When you get to, you know, I think, what was it, like two under there after the uh, first two rounds, um, what, what, you know, what goes through your head and feel this size knowing that, uh, you know, you've got so many people all chasing the same prize and, you know, one bogey either way can move yeah. you, you know, 20 spots up or 20 spots down. Right. It's it's hard to not let your mind go there. One thing I try to do is, is focus on the people that are ahead of me instead of the cut line. I'd be lying if I said the cut line didn't, you know, come mm -hmm. enter into my mind or the top 90, the, the sure. people that advance. But... You know, I just try to keep the, the pedal down and keep accelerating instead of trying to play safe because that never really ends up going well. So I just tried to keep staying aggressive and just wasn't quite as sharp with my ball striking the last couple days. Putted pretty well though, so I was happy with that. So I was going to say, was that the only difference was just, you know, the way you struck it, uh, you know, on, on yeah. Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, and I still hit some some solid shots, but they were just a little, little bit long, a little bit left, and that can kind of get out of control a little bit. So I missed a lot of greens, a lot more greens the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. So it's too bad because I thought I figured it out on the range last night. It felt really good after the round, but sure. then didn't quite carry over till today. But at the same time, I'm you know you get to a point where you know where you're at, and then you start really pressing to try to make birdies. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you make a few more mistakes that you, you normally wouldn't do necessarily. After last week, uh, what were expectations? I mean, what, what was your feeling coming into that first round? And, and how did that, how did, that uh, did, did those first rounds in any way surprise you? Um, it was a pleasant surprise, yeah. I think that um, I was really happy that I got two rounds under my belt at the PHC Classic coming into this week. Um, but, you know, I playing out there, I shot, you know, 80, 180, which is not good scores, but it was, uh, I've shot much better scores hitting it a lot worse. So I mm -hmm. saw a lot of good things, and it was just, you know, getting the feel for playing golfer score again. So... I was happy I got those under my belt. Um, you know, I was a little surprised to actually put together some good rounds, but I wasn't surprised with like the quality of the shots and things like that. And health-wise, where are you at right now? It was a wrist injury, wasn't it? It was. I was a sprained ligament, so it mm -hmm. feels pretty good. I tape it up and that gives it some nice support. Um, you know, I ice it afterwards, it gets a little sore. But overall, it feels pretty good. If I didn't have tape on, it would probably hurt still quite mm -hmm. a bit. But, um, you know, a couple goofy shots make me a little nervous if it's buried down in the rough, that kind of thing, because that's how I initially sure. injured it. But um, overall, it's getting stronger. It feels better. I'm a little bit shorter than I normally am, so about a club shorter right now, mm -hmm. but I think that'll come back just as, as I get stronger again. What's next for you now? I'm actually going to Sioux Falls for a Symmetra Tour event okay. this coming week. So you're back back on that tour till mm -hmm. it ends? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then what does this finish do? Uh, I mean, for your status for next year, for you know anything about you know how you how you'll play, where you'll play yeah. in 2017. It's hard to say until the whole Q school finishes, like mm -hmm. all the way through the final stage. But um, you know, n not getting through this stage is going to hurt my status a little bit for next year. One thing that might end up helping is I applied for a medical extension. Mm -hmm. So if they grant me that, um, just because I've only played one event this year and things like that then I would get to keep the status I had for this season for next year. Mm -hmm. So that's still up in the air right now, but hopefully I can get that, and, which still wasn't super great, but it's better than not getting through first stage. Sure, at least you'll get in some events. Yeah. Do you know people that get through here, typically, or the people that come here to get their conditional status, I guess you'd call it, mm -hmm. how much do they typically play? I feel like towards the, I mean, it's growing every year, so mm -hmm. it might change year to year, but um, I think by the middle of the season, I've started to see like people from first stage that didn't get to second stage mm -hmm. coming out onto the on Symmetra Tour. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, as the season goes on, whether girls get injured or something like that, sure. or the fields just lessen, just different things like mm -hmm. that, about halfway through people start getting in, I think. And then there's certain reshuffles too, so you have the opportunity if you don't have the greatest status to move your, your way up too. Sure, sure. 
was it good to get back out? I mean, now you got two weeks under your belt. Uh, does it feel, you know, like it's slowly coming back? Yeah, it's coming back. <laughs> slowly but truly. I wish I wish I could have gotten a little bit more competitive golf in mm -hmm. prior to this, but you know, I'd rather come out here and give it a shot than you know not play. So it's getting there. Well, Jesse, good luck going forward and uh, stay healthy. All right, appreciate it.